Good morning. morning. This morning, I want you to um, look look at the person next to you. Um, If somebody's not sitting by you, then uh, look behind you, okay, around you, okay. (laughs) So who are these people? Are they our friends or our competitors? (laughs) <laughs> this, this convention's theme is the little glimpse of heaven. What a wonderful picture. People from all over the world worshiping God together in their languages. Wonderful picture. But the sad thing is that that reality is not achieved on this earth. Because of our sin, because of our jealousy toward one another, <clears throat> we see one another as competitions. We don't see our brothers and sisters as what God sees them. Who are we? <clears throat> Who are we? We are the redeemed children of God. How did that happen? Through Christ. And in Revelation chapter 7, the people exactly knew how they were saved. God's word says, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. So the people knew how they became the children of God through the blood of Christ. So our brothers and sisters here or our brothers and sisters in our congregations or our districts, they are our brothers and sisters, not our enemies. Our mutual foe or woe will be sin and Satan. And we have been privileged to call by our dear Lord Jesus to share his love and grace with the people around us. What a wonderful privilege we have. And I I want to um, read from Psalm 133. Behold, how good and pleasant It is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head running down on the beard and on the beard of Aaron, running on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. So who are the sons of Aaron? They were called to serve God's people. And now we have been called by God. Maybe some to our public ministry. But as Christians, we are here to share God's love and bring unity to this broken world. You might say, I am not eloquent to share the gospel with the people around us. I am dealing with different issues. I am um, going through financial difficulties. If we look at ourselves, we are going to notice the limitations that we have. But where does the power come from? Where do we get the salvation from? It is none other than Jesus, our Savior. God himself, the Alpha and the Omega. He is with us as we carry out this ministry Ministry of Reconciliation 
and sharing the peace of Christ with the world. Not only with the world, but in our congregations and our districts. My brothers and sisters, the people around us are the precious soul bought with the blood of Christ. When Satan tempts us to divide us, we need to remember the wonderful picture of heaven. We have been called by God, the gospel to be instruments to extend what Jesus had won for us on that cross. I want to share with you from Paul's words. First Corinthians chapter 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. It might be easy for us to be discouraged and say, what am I doing? Why did I choose this career path to be pastors, DCs, DPMs? What am I doing? But please remember that God is using each and every one of you to share that wonderful message that the world cannot offer. So let us then go with the confidence that God is with us. And may the Lord bless our efforts. Amen. Amen.